How are we doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here on the Pitt Panthers Football Network with a special recruiting episode as we bring you the Pitt Panther recruits of 2017, our recruiting class that will join us here in Season 2. These are the guys that are going to be in the career mode. Pretty excited to have you guys in this dynasty. We're going to start off with quarterback Kai Weems. Keep in mind the numbers are subject to change. I've done the best to get uh, as close as I can to what you guys requested, but we may be able to change it up a little bit. But he's a solid, solid player. Very, very strong arm. Needs to work on his accuracy. Quick enough to elude some traffic a bit, but he's a player that is pretty raw. He's more than likely going to redshirt this year, and we're going to let him develop. While he redshirts, Bandino Mo, Mo though, is not going to redshirt. He's a quarterback that, you know, he's a real tough guy. Uh, he's had a lot through his past. We'll get into everybody's backstories kind of in the future as the seasons go on when we can talk about different players. But he's a well-rounded player. Okay power, okay accuracy. Definitely a, a project type player that may play a, play a role here in the future. But he's going to be on the roster this year. He's not going to redshirt and we'll see. Maybe he gets some game time. At halfback, Todd Sibley, Akron, Ohio, unbelievable player, Under Armour, All-American, well-rounded. There's no doubt about that. We do have a pretty deep uh, running back chart right now, so he's more than likely going to red shoot shirt as well. But you can see how well-rounded he is, so hopefully one year with a red shirt and he will be ready to contribute and be a, a fantastic player for us. He's already got a solid overall rating, like about 74 overall, so look forward to see what he can do in the future. Sam Smoot, he's going to be our backup fullback. Uh, good to have him as part of the team. You know, definitely going to be a big key, especially if George Aston leaves to go to the draft after this year, which he may do. He wanted to leave after last year, but we convinced him to stay. He's going to go into his redshirt junior year. Really good acceleration for Smooth, so very quick feet, though he doesn't have the top end speed. And he's just an overall, you know, a decent player. He's okay. He's not going to blow anybody away, but he's a good player to have as part of the team. So, Sam, welcome. Benjamin Ogden, huge receiver out of Texas, six foot five. He's got blazing speed, so he could be a huge deep threat for us. Again, he's only comes in at 68 overall, so he's more than likely going to red shirt this year. But you can see he's got 94 speed, 94 carrying, 85 spectacular catch, 83 jumping. So he's a deep ball threat as well as a red zone threat, no doubt about that. So we look forward to seeing what he can do in the future. But like you said, more than likely going to red shirt this year we got caleb cannon again another guy who's probably going to red shirt he's our tight end although we brought any 6'8 265 he's an absolute monster definitely going to be another huge target for us he's a solid receiver uh not a great ring i think only 60 overall he came in at but he's a big target like we said he's going to be our third tight end so more than likely we're going to red shirt him this year just to see if we can get some growth on him in the off season uh but caleb cannon welcome to the club as a tight end big panther signing Ryan Henry, as we get into the offensive lineman, these guys are actual non-renamed. Everybody that we did so far was renamed. He's a, a, a good lineman. He's going to be our third left tackle this year. Uh, probably going to redshirt as well, but he comes in about 70 overall, 69 overall. So potentially someone for the future that could get into the starting lineup. Now this guy, Cameron Porter, number 68, he's going to be a 77 overall left guard. He comes in, he's already... You know, potentially in the mix for playing time. He does have a senior ahead of him, so he'll more than likely not start this year. But he is number two on the depth chart, and he's looking to be a three-year starter after next season, Will Cameron Porter. So we're excited to have him. Really good run blocker, which is great for us. Robert Brown, he's just a depth player. Uh, he's going to be a right guard. He comes in at 55 overall. He is from Pittsburgh, which is great, so it helps us out as far as the pipeline goes. But otherwise, I don't know if we'll ever really expect him to see the field, unfortunately. But Robert is here welcome to pit michael collins right tackle again he's actually i believe our fourth string right tackle but he comes in about 70 overall so in the future we could expect to see him in the starting lineup maybe not till his junior or so year he's going to redshirt this year so it could be a couple years before we see him in the mix but he's a solid player a really good run blocker again which is great for us uh with the way that we're playing right now so welcome Sean Wolfgang, defensive end. He comes in as 77 overall freshman already. He's in the mix for playing time. He's going to be second in command at left end behind Dwayne Hendricks, but he's definitely going to get some play time. We love rotating those guys in there. I think he's going to be fantastic. Very quick because he's a little bit undersized. He's 6'4 height-wise, which is huge, but he's only 236, so definitely could work on some strength and what have you. Get some weight on there, but he's going to be a great player for us. Darren Toss, another guy who is a four-star. Unfortunately, he's a fourth on our depth chart for defensive tackle, 
but my rationale was four stars to come in. They're going to want to play right away. So Darren, even though he's fourth on our depth chart, he's not going to redshirt. We're going to try and get him into a few games and maybe throw him in a couple of packages and see what he can do, maybe with some formation subs. But he's going to be a fantastic player for us, very strong. Hopefully we'll clog up the middle as he's a big boy from PA. Another guy from PA, Ryan Lumpkin. He's one of those guys that unfortunately his overall is only 61. Probably won't expect him to see the field, but he's a good signing. Helps out with the, the hometown uh, quota as far as players that we want to get from Pittsburgh and from Pennsylvania area. So Ryan, welcome to Pitt H2P. Barry Jenkins, the second linebacker replacing, uh, coming in here at left outside linebacker. He was a four-star from Washington, D.C., 5'11", 220, a little bit underside, but good speed. His play awareness, and this is where he's so key, his play recognition is unbelievable, especially for such a young player. So he's a really smart player, someone that we think can do very, very well. He's got 84 tackling as well as good play recognition. So I think that's going to be fantastic. Real sure tackler and someone that's going to get in the mix as a four-star. Jay Menefee, another four-star. He's a middle linebacker, 6'1", 249. Great to see him in the lineup. Uh, he's a guy that came as an athlete. We decided he'd be best suited at middle linebacker. He's third on the depth chart, so he's definitely going to get a little bit of playing time, I think. Good, solid tackler. He's got a lot of power moves, obviously, with his size. Play recognition of 84, which is unreal. Really smart player, so one that we hope can lead uh, the middle of our defense here in the future. Phil Moore, another middle linebacker just behind Menifee on the depth chart. So a guy that could get some playing time. And even if he doesn't, he's got some sick gear, I will tell you that much. Fillmore, he looks the part, I'll tell you what. But he's a good player. I think he's, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 overall. So a player that could get some playing time in the future. We have a way, uh, we'll get to it uh, later in the next episode, that some players are going to get uh, potentially some overalls changed around. You'll see that. Not a ton of recruits, but Jason Jordan, his initials JJ, Thought he might have been related to J.J. Watt, but turned out it's just his initials for J.J. But again, fantastic outside linebacker. Right outside linebacker coming in. Freshman, he's second on the depth chart already. Great speed, 83 speed, 84 awareness. Really needs to work on his play recognition. Uh, it's okay, uh, but his tackling is solid. He's just an all-around really good player, good speed. So we're looking forward to using him uh, at right outside linebacker. O.C. Obiasan, uh, Nigerian player who came over. Uh, moved to California and then eventually ended up settling in PA uh, for his last couple of years of high school. He's going to be third on that depth chart there. He's more than likely going to redshirt, so we'll see if we ever get any playtime out of him in the future. But OC, welcome to Pitt. Good to see him. Kaiser Artist Scott, this guy is going to be a freak for us. He's going to be unbelievable. Great speed. His man coverage is needs a little bit of work he's really good in zone really good at press coverage his return game is unbelievable though 95 speed so he should be a you know real weapon for us in the return game his carrying range is not great but he's got great speed really good jumping and catching so i think interceptions are gonna be something he's gonna provide for us but his play recognition is very very solid good returner I think he's going to be, a, you know, definitely he's a four-star recruit coming in, so he's going to play an impact for us. Paris Ford, this was the gem of our class, four-star recruit as well. He comes in, he might, you know, it's in contention, but he might come in and start at field safety already for us. Really good speed, great agility and acceleration, good tacklers, really good on the ball as well, so he could actually maybe go on the other side of the ball if we want to do something. Fantastic jumping, good catching, definitely could expect him as a bit of a field general back there making some interceptions and what have you unbelievable in man coverage and in zone coverage which is fantastic because our field safety usually has to get out in man on those slot receivers and different types of players so he'll be huge for us quell hampshire is going to be his deputy there uh more than likely going to redshirt this year but a great story from him uh and a player that again a lot of speed definitely has to work a little bit on his coverage there's no doubt about that but if he can do that, I think he's going to be fantastic for us. You can see his man coverage is not good, and we play a primarily man uh, type of defense, so we'll want him to improve on that. But he's a player to look at for the future. Jacob Lachlan, again, another freshman that comes in highly regarded, really solid three-star recruit, probably going to red shirt just because of the fact that we have Jordan Whitehead already as our starter at strong safety, but he's got a ton of speed and acceleration, really, really solid there. Decent in coverage, really solid tackler, 80 tackling already. Good man coverage and zone coverage, not bad. So hopefully with a red shirt year under his belt, if Whitehead even stays for his senior year, then Lachlan is going to be set and be the starter after that. And of course, our final recruit, Jay Bump, our kicker, really, really accurate, you'll say. 86 accuracy already. Needs to work on his leg strength a little bit, but to have an accurate kicker that early already as a freshman is going to be fantastic to include in the lineup. So Jay, welcome. Hail to Pitt. 
buddy. Let's go Panthers. So that's all of our recruits this year. Like I said, you're going to see in our next episode, we're going to go into our season preview. It's going to be our season two preview. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you're happy with the player you got. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and get the numbers as close to what you guys wanted, but unfortunately if they're already being used by another player, we might have to give you something different. Uh, so we'll see about that. But hopefully everybody enjoys seeing their player created. Hopefully you like how they look and you like, can't wait to see them get used here in Season 2s and Season 3 and so on in this dynasty. Uh, but like I said, we might see some changes and uh, we'll get in the depth chart. We'll get into our schedule. We'll take a look at the recruits we're looking at, things of that nature going into season number two and I got a little little sneak peek that maybe a couple of guys either may get bumped up or bumped down it just depends on what we'll do but I'll give you the hint on that in the next episode that we'll see some some things that just spice up the dynasty a little bit maybe shift the depth chart around but as always guys thank you so much for watching really appreciate it be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it and excited for season number two hail to pit we'll see you soon take care bye bye